Hi, my name is Dominic Martin. Hello, I'm Nicola. Hi everyone, my name is Alex. And a welcome to Before You Say I Do. Before You Say I Do. Before You Say I Do. Hello everyone, how y'all doing? So we are back, we are back with another video. I am so excited. As always, y'all, this series has been amazing. So far, the level of information, the amount of information we're getting from these two people here, oh, I am grateful that I have them in my life. But y'all, I am sharing them with y'all. And uh, we're just gonna go right into the topic for today. And today, we are doing the last part of the question that we started off with, am I ready for marriage? And the question for today is, uh, do I know what it means to be in a long-term relationship? And marriage is very long term, if you ask me, if you're going to go in for the rest of your life. But before we go into that, let's just do a reminder of the main point that we covered in our last session. Then we're going to go right into it. So in our last session, we answered the question, am I in a place ready for a relationship? And some of the great points that came up were, uh, am I mentally prepared? Do I have the maturity for marriage? Am I ready to compromise and to deal with the day-to-day -day activities or the day-to-day -day trials that we come up with in a marriage. Um, also, we spoke about mental preparedness in terms of, are you ready to amalgamate with somebody? Are you ready to come together and share your life with somebody? You know, these are big steps. And of course, we had the big words coming up and we know who spoke them. We had the term eco-socio-spiritual. And those spoke about different things. The eco would speak to the economic side of the relationship. Um, are you economically prepared to deal with to go into a relationship? Um, are you do you have the finance to take care or to contribute to the relationship? We spoke about the socio in terms of career, education, and other social obligations that you may need to uh, take care of or you might need to handle before you enter into a relationship. We spoke about that also affecting the spiritual. And if you're going into a relationship before it's time, like we would read in the scriptures, it says, don't awaken love before it's time. So we definitely dealt with that. And we're saying we don't want to do that, especially as believers, because we want to stay away from sin. We spoke again, being singly whole came up, um, and we spoke about completing your, your singleness before entering into marriage. There should not be any rush. Uh, you, we also spoke about it's been okay to build with someone. So we're not condemning you if you're already in a relationship and you're already in that place. It's okay to build with someone, but please set realistic goals and that will help you determine if that person is serious. And we spoke about not letting age, your age or your biological clock, uh, pressure you into marriage. And lastly, but that was not all we spoke about, uh, we spoke about enjoying the courting process, and Alex is very passionate about that. It is vital. No sex, but courting. So that's the quest. That's the main topics. Well, the main points that we got from the last topic. So let's go right into it, guys. Today, 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 we are saying, do I know what it means to be in a long-term relationship? What does it mean to be in a long-term relationship? What do I need to know? Let's start with you, Pastor Matthew. I really like this question, and uh, when we when when we speak about do I know what it means to be in a long term relationship, it means um, do I have a consistent mindset? Do I have the mind of consistency? Do I understand that at some point in time, the butterflies and the quote unquote well we use it you now the energy that we feel in the honeymoon phase of this relationship will soon go and do i have the willpower to be consistent so it means to say i need to gauge myself to know what are the things in my life that i've been committed to for a long period of time and if friendships isn't one of them if committing to education to career isn't one of them if committing to our cause um to charity isn't one of them then we need to consider whether or not we could commit to someone for a lifetime. You know, um, a lot of people love to see till death. Many marriages make that vow till death. And you wonder what happened between the altar and the divorce court. You understand? 
Uh, so it's about the mindset of commitment, knowing that when we say I do, we're in it for the long haul. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Martin. That was a wealth of information there. Alex? When I, I think about um, the question you asked, um, I think about those questions. Um, am I ready to make myself vulnerable to somebody else? Am I, am I, am I ready to um, compromise because marriage in itself is give and take. You will not always get things your way. Things may not always, you may have to allow your partner to win sometimes. Even when you, um, you think that um, maybe you just might be right, but just for the sake of, of Keeping the relationship, are you willing to allow your partner to take the um, the right? Um, are you are you? Um, I think going into marriage, you would have to spend the rest of your life with that one person, and temptation is one of the things that would definitely come up. Cause you would, then you're like Pastor Martin said, your phase where the lovey dovey phase would have gone away, and now you would have seen the same things that would have once make you feel so in love with the person would start to irritate you, and you would see now you're no longer interested, like you you're so grumpy or grouchy towards the person for stealing the sheets during the night and that was when before it used to be home oh, because that that used to make you feel so nice but now you're like but, but why all of a sudden now my wife just taking all the sheets and i believe that i believe that now my wife taking more than half of the bed and i have to squeeze in the edge of the bed that once used to seem so cute to you but then now it's not so are you willing to put in the work are you willing to to forgive so many times just to make it work? Are you devoted to it? And to me, all in all, have you understood that marriage in itself is not just between you and your partner, but God has to be in the middle of it. God has to be the reason that pulled you all together. And God has to be the reason for keeping you all together. Um, there are so many other things, but I will stop there for now. Wow, Alex, wow. You just, you had me in my thoughts. You had me in my feelings. You had me, you, I was like, now y'all, you know what? You know what I've decided after this question? This guy is gone, he's gone. I am I am not ready. <laughs> I am not ready. Y'all, this is such good information and I am so happy to share it because when I, listening to you guys, I could hear that it's so much more than just having a nice time or having fun or just being in a relationship just to say you're in a relationship. But it, it, there is so much more self-sacrifice that is required. So, y'all, we're going to keep that. With all of that, all of that to think about, I, I cannot add anything. I don't know if you guys have any closing words, but I need to go and think. I need to sit down and think for a while. So I'm just going to end this video right here. I need to sit and think, honestly. So, y'all, do you have any closing words? Because that's it for me, honestly. Pastor Martin? Have a lifetime mindset. Thank you, Pastor Martin. Have a lifetime mindset, Alex. Um, if you go into uh into marriage thinking that you will always you have a way out, you will never try to fix something. You will always feel like um, no matter what. I have a way out. 
But then when you know definitely, you don't have a way out. That is, there is no way out. You will be in it. You will put your heart in it. You will work it out. No matter what, you will work it out. So stop thinking of a way out. Like, so with that statement, you're raising so many questions in my head, but I'm just going to have to save it for the next time because first I need to chew on what you said, and then I'm going to come back with those questions. I think like we probably need to do a part two to these questions because y'all, y'all, y'all just, just threw me off there. Now I need, mm -mm, mm -mm. y'all, we're doing a part two to this, but let me just let the viewers soak that in. Viewers, thank you so much for watching. This information is deep. It is real. So apply to your life think take some time to think like i'm gonna do and let me know in the comment section what's your take on it we're doing a part two because i know you have questions about so what if he's this and what if he's that what about abuse and all of this let me tell you it's going through my head too so it's coming it's, we're gonna deal with it but y'all thank you for watching like subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and y'all y'all do all that good stuff we are grateful we are grateful for you doing this video Thanks for watching. Bye.